Gabriel Boric is no ordinary president. At just barely 36, the world's second youngest head of state represents the start of an era in Chilean politics led by a new young generation with dreams of social equality. We advance towards a more inclusive, generous Chile with no one left behind, or we will continue with the logic of privilege against which Chile has risen up. Boric came to the forefront a decade ago as a student leader who helped forge a massive revolt for better public education. Then he gave up university to become a congressman for a new left-wing coalition, ignoring critics of his informal attire. From a very young age, he showed leadership qualities. At age nine, he wrote, I was a bad class president in first grade because then I didn't know what it meant to be president. But now I'm prepared and I promise you I'll be a good president. And please don't vote for me just because I'm your friend. Boric comes from Punta Arenas, overlooking the Magellan Strait on the tip of South America, where people say that gale force winds and the bitter cold help forge their strong character. The Boric family comes from a long line of Croatian migrants that settled here. Gabriel Boric's parents allowed us into their middle-class home to talk about their son. They say he was always interested in politics, but that not even he imagined he'd be elected president just eight months ago. If he was chosen at such a young age, it's because it was in his cards. He was born with a mission, a very good one, but a mission that I would not have wished for him, obviously. But his father is less daunted by the weight of his son's responsibility. The road is full of obstacles, and we hope that the education and the environment that we gave him will help him overcome those obstacles. In recent years, Boric has matured from what many saw as a left-wing radical to what in Scandinavia or France would be considered a progressive, more concerned about forging consensus than confrontation. Boric brings to the presidential palace behind me the energy and idealism of youth. Yet, if nothing else, he has become very aware that making dreams come true will not be nearly as easy as it was to make promises when he was in the opposition. Writer Patricio Fernandez knows Boric well. He incarnates an era of transformations, of a new world order that is emerging, even though he leads a generation that takes office without experience in government. Boric is already marking his style by moving into an edgy neighborhood where he can still buy his favorite sandwich and bread while talking to the neighbors, a ritual that will be useful to keep him in touch with the temperature on the street. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.